GTA 5 is the highest grossing entertainment product ever. No single movie, book or music album has ever grossed as much. And because a whole decade has passed since its release, I thought it would be interesting to look at the things got cut or changed from the final product. Since almost every aspect of the game has some missing content, this video is gonna be divided into different parts such as story, characters, open world, weapons, vehicles, sound, online and others. So without further ado, let's dive into the world of cut content and GTA 5. The Story Lamar as a playable character At the end of the game, Franklin is given the option to take out Michael, take out Trevor or save both Michael and Trevor. Not many fans know, but the third option was almost very different. Originally, Rockstar was planning on letting players take Franklin's life and replacing him with Lamar as a playable character. Voice actor Sling Johnson confirmed this in a Q&A on Reddit and explained that Rockstar had to go in a different direction due to personal issues he was dealing with in real life. The North Yankton servers. In the building that the player starts in at the beginning of the prologue mission, there is an inaccessible surveillance room that looks oddly detailed and ready to use. This room is likely tied to one of the mission's cut objectives where the player would have to destroy CCTV evidence. It's probably that this room was made inaccessible when that objective was cut during development, probably to keep the dynamic pacing of this mission. The Sharmuta job. One heist that fans could play in the beta for GTA 5 was called the Sharmuta job. This heist was cut from the finished game but involved Michael and Trevor robbing Martin Madrasa's mansion. Trevor and Michael would either dress up as mimes or clowns, depending on which approach he chose, in order to infiltrate the mansion during a party. Then steal Madrasa's safe, take his wife and escape on horseback. Yeah, horses were initially a thing but we'll get back to that later. There are many fun missions in GTA 5 but this had the potential to be one of the most unique missions in the game. DLC for the story mode That's an all-known fact, but even though Rockstar at one point said that the DLC for the story mode was coming soon, it never ended up happening. Instead, Rockstar decided to focus on GTA Online and making countless DLCs for it. The Characters Different character names According to the Rush casting call, Rush was a code name for GTA 5 back in the day, a lot of characters' names were changed. Here's a full list. Although I'm glad most of the names got changed, some of them actually still fit the characters like Wade being Clyde or Dave Norton being Calvin North. By the way, write in the comments which of the old names you prefer over the new ones. Extra character animations There are a handful of animations and expressions the character can do, but there were almost even more in the final product. Some of these animations include Franklin throwing up the peace sign and Michael scratching his face. Animations shouldn't really take up a lot of space within the game, but were deleted anyway. Female police officers Although GTA 5 is the first game in the series that introduces us to female cops, they are rare and only appear in certain locations like the Mission Row Police Station or the Sandy Shores Sheriff Station. For some reason, the game has way more male officers than female and to be honest, I already forgot that the game had female officers. But given the promotional artwork for the game, it certainly looks like they had originally planned to make female officers as prevalent as male ones. Kyle P. Slater You can encounter many unique NPCs in GTA 5 and one of the characters that was cut from the final version of the game was a man named Kyle P. Slater. The character was supposed to appear in a random encounter but the mission didn't make it into the game. While he doesn't actually appear in GTA 5, you can still call his number in game and listen to his voicemail. You've reached First Lieutenant Kyle P. Slater. Leave the where, the when and the how. After the tone. Jordan. Another NPC that was cut from the game was Jordan, who was playing tennis against Michael in the gameplay trailer, but she was later replaced by Ray instead. Karen Daniels unused underwear. There is an unused clothing option for Karen Daniels, with her wearing nothing more than underwear. Oof, what scenario these clothes were ever going to be used is unknown. Different clothing. Speaking of unused clothing, if we look at the trailers to the game, there are many instances where characters initially wore different clothing. Here are a few examples. The 
the open world. When it comes to the open world, there are many places inside activities that got either cut altogether or made inaccessible for the player. First, I would like to take a look at the places that got removed or made inaccessible. The Bahamas Mamas West Night Club Bahama Mamas was a popping nightclub first seen in GTA 4 The Ballad of Gaetani. The building was located in Purgatory in Liberty City, but a sister nightclub appears in Los Santos in GTA 5. The club is completely furnished and has functioning lights, but nothing else happens in the club. There isn't any music playing or any workers in the club and it is completely inoperational. With the level of detail the developers put into the club, it's safe to assume that the club was originally supposed to play a bigger role in the game, but got scrapped. Clucking Bell and Burger Shot when people dug around in the source code of the game, they discovered several icons for different side activities and among those were icons for fast food shops such as the iconic Clucking Bell and Burger Shot. Both of these restaurants appear in the game, but you can't actually order food from them. Based on the map icons, it looks as though Rocks at one point considered making the restaurants accessible, but it didn't happen. Split Sides West Comedy Club the Split Sides West Comedy Club in Eclipse Boulevard has an unused interior. Most of the visuals and quite a bit of the collisions seem to be in place, although the walls, doors and curtains have no collision, suggesting that it wasn't too far off from being ready to use. But for unknown reasons, its development slash implementation wasn't completed and was made inaccessible. Finishing the list of almost finished but inaccessible places, we get both the Polito Bay Sheriff Station and the Sandy Shore Sheriff Station. Both are as good as finished inside, but like with the previous examples inaccessible from the outside. Stunt Stadium There remains of an unused stunt stadium in the game's files. The stadium is quite incomplete because while it does contain various stunt related objects, it also lacks basic elements such as walls and a roof. Curiously, the stadium's models file is placed in the same location that contains various models files for Solomon Richards' office. What connections these two will have is unknown. A cut mission involving stunt for a movie perhaps? Ultimately though, the connection is an unconfirmed mystery. The arena was eventually used for the Arena Wars DLC in GTA Online, albeit with a different layout. Surgery Room there seemed to have been a surgery room planned for a future DLC, but there's not a lot to say about it because only collision data, metadata and a definition entry file can be found. Michael's Hidden Door And no, I'm not talking about the closed room on the first floor, but the door in the back of Michael's house. When you shoot the side of the house, the outline of a door will be formed through the bullet holes. There's really no point of doing this since you can't go inside, but it's interesting to know that Michael's house was almost structured differently. A baseball arena a TV ad can be seen for the team Los Santos Corkers, but a baseball arena can't be found anywhere on the map. There are many references to the Corkers in the game, like the poster found in Franklin's old bedroom, but the arena did make it into the game itself and with that also baseball as an activity. Side activities. Speaking of cut side activities, some of them include basketball, air hockey, pool and even using the gym to get jacked. The Vespucci Beach statue. We all know that Vespucci Beach was modeled after real life Venice Beach, but what you probably didn't know is that this rusty statue wasn't in the game at first. A real life sculpture called Declaration can be found in a real beach which was originally incorporated into GTA 5 when the game first released. Shortly after the game was released though, one of the updates got rid of the sculpture and replaced it with a rusty bronze statue that looks nothing like the artist Mark De Suvira's original piece, probably because of some copyright issues. Cherry Trees and Palm Trees Since the city of Los Santos is based in Los Angeles, Rockstar designed the game to look like California. Early looks at the game however revealed that Rockstar originally planned to include a lot more vegetation. Including more trees and bushes would have made the game look more visually pleasing. But this many trees likely would have slowed down the game a bit more than what Rockstar wanted. Later though, they did add more vegetation as well as pedestrians and more dogs to the PC version and new consoles which were PlayStation 4 and Xbox One at that time. A 6 star wanted level while former GTA titles gave gamers a wanted level up to 6 stars, GTA 5 only goes up to 5. Some fans found a 6 star wanted level in the game's code, but it didn't make it into the final game. A 5 star wanted level is difficult to survive, but 6 stars would have made escaping nearly impossible. Slightly different map an early version of the game's map can be found titled as a debug map. While much of the game's map remains similar, clues around the world still suggest differences during development. Now I'm not gonna list every small change made to the map like the fact that some roads and rivers are either wider or larger, but rather some that I found to be interesting like the fact that North Point did not exist in the beta, Route 68 was originally going to be named Route 69, Sandy Shores Airfield was going to be named Alamosea Airfield, the beta name for Fort Zancudo was Kazansky Air Force Base, and the Daily Globe newspaper circulated in-game mansions, an area called Beach Site. This was possibly the beta name for Del Perro or an area of Vespucci. Weapons 
Following weapons were removed. A shovel, a wrench, a fire extinguisher, a fire axe, a lasso. Yes, you could literally cosplay John Mouse if you wanted to. I wonder how that would look like. But anyways, a heavy rifle that was initially cut but got actually added in 2021 the contract DLC, a salt sniper that Michael had in one of the official game arts, the programmable AR, an XM25 based airburst grenade launcher, the assault MG, an HQ21 based light machine gun, some weapons had the green tint by default, some weapons had an older, more realistic woodcast model, the pistol had a darker skin, the RPG originally had a grip attachment. In some pre-release screenshots of the Xbox 360 slash PlayStation 3 versions, some new surfaces were shown using laser sight attachments on their guns. However, in the final release of GTA 5 on all platforms, laser sights are not available on any guns as the attachment was cut. And it's also worthy to notice that police officers had ballistic shields as well as riot shields that were cut from the final game. Vehicles as with weapons, there are also many vehicles that were cut from the game. Among those are the Hunter, which only later returns for the enhanced version of the game, the Admiral, Esperanto, Presidente, a Combine Harvester, and if counted as a vehicle, horses, as they were intended to be rideable like vehicles. By the way, check out this unused horse dialogue. Oh, sorry horsey. Your galloping days are over, my friend. Eh, sorry horse. My bad pony. Somebody shoot him. Uh, you're heading to the glue factory. Various vehicles cut from the game have returned throughout GTA Online content updates. The jetpack is mentioned various times in the game's code and was eventually added as part of the Doomsday Heist update. The Hydra was added as part of the Heist update and the Squadia as part of the Cayo Perico Heist update. Utility truck. One vehicle that was in both the beta and the actual game is a utility truck, commonly referred to as the bucket truck. The vehicle has a long arm with a bucket attached to the truck that could extend in the beta. While the truck still made its way into GTA 5, there is no way to extend the arm of the bucket. Design changes. The police Maverick assumed the design of the first generation Maverick as it did in GTA 4 with an updated LSP delivery as seen during the first trailer but it was quickly changed to an updated second generation design that the helicopter now assumes. LSPD also used the original police cruiser assuming its first generation design from GTA 4 before being updated to a new second generation design. The first generation model still appears as a civilian vehicle under the name Stanier. Different names. Vehicles names were also changed before the game's release. Some names Name changes are relatively minor such as the Dozer originally being named the Bulldozer, the Dash Hound as Coach and Dodo as Seaplane. Some changed entirely, the Grizzly as Detonator, the Roosevelt as B-Type, the Insurgent as Armadillo, Valkyrie as Napalm and Adder as Venom. Annihilator. There is significant evidence to show that during some point in development the Annihilator vehicle was planned as one of the vehicles to be used during Warnet levels and possibly outside of Warnet levels too. Additionally, the unused Annihilator police scanner audio from the last generation release of GTA 5 strongly suggests that there were plans to have the vehicle be pilotable by the player in story mode at some point in development. In the final game, however, the Annihilator is normally available outside of GTA Online and does not spawn in story mode without game mods. Sound. Pre-Millennium Radio As we all know, GTA 5 has a big variety of radio stations, but one you won't find in the game is Pre-Millennium Radio, which would have been a 90s alternative rock station. Obviously I can't play them because of copyright issues, but you can see some of them on the screen right now. A few of the songs from the station actually appear on Vinewood Boulevard Radio, but it would have been nice to get a station devoted to this genre. Santos Surf Alongside Premillennium Radio, there was another station called Santos Surf that was cut from the game. Almost nothing is known from the station except for its logo. The name suggests that it might have played surf music. The lead graphic designer Stephen Wall shared a picture where it shows the station in the radio wheel before it was removed in March 2017. Additional songs Although GTA 5 has a huge list of music that you can listen to, there are still a lot of songs that were cut from each radio station, but I won't show them on the screen because there's way too many of them. Instead, I made a list in the description where I wrote every single unused song. Song. Have fun listening. Unused GTA Online score. There is a track that was added in the heist update for GTA Online, however it is never used in game. Unlike the other added tracks that are made up of 8 parts, this one is only made up of 4. Check him out. Different completion themes. Michael Franklin and Trevor originally had different mission completion themes and a variety similar to that in GTA 4.
different ambience. The freight train appears to have different, much longer horns. The original GTA 4 sirens for police vehicles remain in the audio files, however, are unused. The police Mavericks camera sound effects were changed before release. The original GTA 4 fire truck horn remains in the audio files, but is unused. Sound effects for air hockey remain unused in the files. And as a cherry on top, the Epsilon theme was originally much more sinister and eerie, as indicated by various unused Epsilon audio files in the game files. These tracks use the same melody but with more depressive tones. Online Cops and Crooks Factions Apparently, factions were originally crucial to the gameplay, with players choosing between the lost MC, Vegas or the police. It is even believed that gamers playing the cops would have been able to handcuff the crooks. This could have been fun and perhaps we are going to see this feature in the later DLCs for GTA Online. Prison Break Setup Mission Originally, there was going to be one more setup mission in the Prison Break, which consisted of stealing a police ride belonging to the LSPD. In the final version, the riot van is already parked inside Bolingbroke Penitentiary during the heist. The setup mission is led by a different character the same character who does the voice for another cut heist, which suggests that the prison break was originally led by this character until Agent 14 replaced him. This character tasks players with stealing one of the three riot vans found around Los Santos. The leader lets the players choose which of the three vans to steal, but it reminds them to not expect the police to make it easy for them. Once the van is stolen, the leader tells them to lose the police and then leave the van in the Bolingbroke Penitentiary parking lot. Pacific Standard Early Signal Setup Mission There are audio clips that suggest there was a preparatory mission to locate and capture a character named Melvin Andrews, who is a mad scientist. The mission was for players to track down Melvin by avoiding ghost signals and following the correct one that Lester gives them. At one point, Melvin is on a call which makes it easy for Lester to track his location. Later, Lester gives the location to the players which could be free and vary in each game. Rockford Hills, alleyways nearby or an altar market. Voice files of Melvin himself also exist revealing that Melvin has the same voice as Avi Schwartzman, making it clear that Melvin was replaced by Avi, also that he has a paranoid personality similar to Avi. Melvin Yes, Melvin is the cut character that was meant to appear in a setup mission for the heist that I was just talking about. The only thing left of him is the contact texture and voice lines from the prep mission. Pacific Standard Bank Manager's Setup Mission Another preparatory mission was to get the bank passed up in the wall. For this, the players had to locate the bank manager named Joseph White, also known as Casanova, and follow him back to his apartment. Once there, the players had to distract Joseph by seducing him with sexual acts. And once distracted, the bank pass can be collected to clone him. This mission was scrapped as possibly being unnecessary and also sexually inappropriate. Fourth Kine Musik Mission Initially, it was planned that there will be a fourth mission for Kine Musik, and the leftover remains are the dialogues of the phone call. In this mission, the player had to get the tequila at the Diamond Casino and deliver it to Kaya Perico, similar to the other missions for Kine Musik. Dancing Minigame There are textures for a cut dancing minigame. It seemed that it was planned for the GTA Online After Hours update. Restriction at the Diamond Casino and Resort now, this content is in the game, but it's cut in 50 countries around the world. In GTA Online's The Diamond Casino and Resort update, Rockstar has had to block access to gambling in more than 50 countries to comply with local gambling laws and thus avoid any type of conflict. You still can access the casino, buy clothes, the penthouses, and do the narrative missions of the casino normally, but you will not be able to play any games of chance. You will find a list of all 50 countries in the description, but here are a few of them. Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, Argentina, South, and... North Korea, Portugal, Vietnam and Venezuela. Others. This is the last category of cut content and basically these are things that don't fit in neither of the previous categories, so I just put them here all together. VU port. You won't believe me, but a port for the VU platform was originally planned. Turkish language support. On November 12, 2012, Rockstar Games posted a tweet that GTA 5 could cool have Turkish language support. The tweet was then deleted a few days later. And, well, the game still has no Turkish language support. Mount Chiliad Hidden Block Inside the walls of the Mount Chiliad cable car building is a hidden block, which can't be seen by normal means. The block is completely static, has no collision with the player and doesn't appear to serve any significant purpose. The reason for its existence is unknown. Assassination Missions There are textures for an early version of assassination missions featuring GTA 4 pedestrians with an early version of the map in the background. Buy properties in story mode the ability to buy properties on the internet was cut and moved to GTA Online. Dialogue exists in the game's files mentioning and it's also mentioned in the game's gameplay trailer. Different Parachute Color The beta parachute had the same color scheme as it did in the Ballad of Gaetani, according to the screenshot. Cheetah and Chastity Cheetah and Chastity, who are known for working at the famous shoe store, have phone numbers, which were somewhat removed from the final version of the game. They can still be called, but have no dialogue. 
more dog breeds. There were more dog breeds like Huskies, which were postponed until the enhanced version. Slightly different HUD. The game met initially a GTA 4 style rounded minimap. The radio dial icons for Radio Los Santos, Salvex FM and West Coast Classics were originally different from the final version. The HUD of car statistics in Los Santos Customs was slightly different as seen in the game's gameplay trailer. Originally, the pause menu had pictures of areas of Los Santos and Blaine County, similar to the pause menu backgrounds in GTA San Andreas. Different gun and animation. In a screenshot, Franklin can be seen wielding a pistol with one hand, but in the final version of the game, he wields all pistols with two hands. It is likely that this animation was only meant to appear in a cutscene of some sort, or it was just made for the image. Last, unused textures. The Los Santos police text does not appear anywhere on the unarmed buzzard vehicle, although the file name suggests that it should. The Los Santos City Fire Department text does not appear anywhere on the fire truck vehicle. The blue and black rectangle items do not appear anywhere on the LSTC cruiser vehicle, as well as the police badge. In the last generation releases of GTA 5, the badge was mapped to the hood area of the LSPD Buffalo vehicle. However, in the Windows, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4 releases, the badge was removed from the LSPD Buffalo's texture mapping and its livery was altered to more closely resemble that of the LSPD cruiser. Due to this, the badge and the texture is left unused. And these were all the things that were cut from GTA 5. If you watched this video till this moment, I am extremely grateful. If you like this video, please punch the like button, share this video with your friends. And yeah, I am planning on making more videos like this, more videos about cut content. If I'm going to make one more video, the next one is definitely going to be way shorter. Like, I need a break. Like, I worked almost a whole month on this video. So, again, thank you a lot. Subscribe to my channel. This will really, really help me. Like the... Uh, like this video and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Take care